Hey everyone, and welcome to a new OpenRC2 update video. Now, we've been getting a lot of uh, new updates in the latest developed versions, and we got another one, and this one uh, is one that has been requested a lot. And what we got today was speedy block breaks, as, uh, as they're called. Now, uh, something which always annoyed me in Open or in uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, I mean, is that whenever you had block breaks somewhere in the coaster, um, they would always slow down your coaster to a crawl. Um, they will always slow down your coaster to uh, 6 kilometers per hour, or I believe 4 miles per hour if your um, units are set to that. And on real coasters, um, actually, um, they will only slow down the coaster a bit, or not at all as it passes by, if the block break uh, or the block section in front of it is free. So with this update, uh, this behavior of real roller coaster um, yeah, it's uh, more or less simulated. So uh, you can see this when you build a coaster now. So uh, yeah, let's just take a twister coaster as an example. And what you can see now, if we try to place a block break, is that we can actually set a speed for it. Now, um, this does not only uh, affect the block break itself, but it also affects the brakes in front of it, uh, which I will show you uh, later in an example. Now, if you don't like this update, if you want to uh, have your block breaks work as they always did before, uh, just keep them at uh, their default speed and their behavior will be exactly the same as it was before. So all your existing designs uh, should not be influenced by this update. Now, let me quickly stop the rain. All right, um, I made a small uh, test design here. So here we have a vertical drop coaster. Um, just a very silly, simple design. And over here we have a block break. And in front of it here we just have a set of brakes which uh, gradually slow down the train um, starting from 64 kilometers per hour. So we can probably just add uh, another two in front. So let's just set the speed a little bit higher in front. Let's put 78. Let's put 101 here. So right now this block break here is set to 6 kilometers per hour which is the default uh, speed that's set for block breaks. I will just quickly speed it up a bit. And now the brake will just work as it usually did. So the train, uh, it will just arrive here. It will gradually slow down until it reaches the block brake here. And it gets uh, put at uh, six or four kilometers per hour, which is where it is now. I'll put a little bit of a booster section here just to uh, get it to the uh, station quicker. Here's another block break section. Now, um, let's see what happens if we change the speed. So as you could see, it uh, the train here was gradually, gradually uh, slowed down. Now let's uh, put this block break at 40 kilometers per hour. All right, now let's uh, do this same uh, procedure again. So I'm just going to uh, bring this train here to this uh, drop. There we go. Now uh, watch the speed of the train. And as you could see, it slowed down to 40 kilometers per hour. And all the brakes that were slower, or that were put to a lower speed than the 40 kilometers per hour, um, yeah, they just slowed down the train to 40 kilometers per hour. So if you have a block brake that's set to a certain speed, all the brakes that are before it, that are set to a lower speed, will also copy the speed from this block brake. So this block brake was set to 40 kilometers per hour. Somewhere here in the middle, um, yeah, the brakes started getting to a lower speed, so they just slowed down the coaster to 40 kilometers per hour. This uh, this behavior will actually not happen if the uh, block section in front of the block brake is not free. So you can just close the coaster here, so this train will stay over here, and this brake this brake will stay closed. And now, uh, as this train goes down, uh, this block brake is closed, so now the brakes sh should work like normal. You could see it as uh, when it's closed, the speed is set to zero, so all the brake speeds below it are higher than zero, so they will just behave like normal. Let's see it in action. Here, it will drop down. Now it should get gradually slowed down to zero. 
may, may have been difficult to see, but all the brakes just functioned like they normally would. And now it's stopped here on the block brakes. Um, the block brakes will not actually speed up the train uh, to the speed which they are set to. As you can see, the train here stayed at 6 km per hour. So it's not like in Rollercoaster Tycoon 3, where you can actually launch trains using uh, block brake sections. No, here um, the trains actually just get set to 6 km per hour, or the block brakes will propel the trains to 6 km per hour. So when you are making a coaster design with a speedy block brake somewhere in the middle, um, yeah, you'll have to make sure that the train will be able to make it through the rest of the track uh, if it just gets set to 6 km per hour at the block break. Um, yeah, in case the block section in front of it is uh, closed. So again, this is different than in Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. In Rollercoaster Tycoon 3, um, your uh, uh, coaster will actually get a boost from the speedy block breaks if it gets stopped on it and then later has to resume. So that's not what happens here. But yeah, I think this is a really exciting new update and will definitely help you make your help you make your coasters more realistic and yeah uh, i think we will definitely see this a lot uh, in our contests in the upcoming time all right um, yeah i hope this explains to you how the speedy block brakes work um, how you can use them remember uh, the brakes that have a lower speed than your block, block brake that are in fr front of it uh, will be put at the same speed as the block brake if the section is open and if the section bef before it is closed, they will do, um, yeah, they will just keep their normal speed. And all the brakes before it that have a higher speed than the block brake, they will just function as normal. All right, well, yeah, that was it for this update video. I hope it's useful for you. I hope it was a good explanation. And I'll see you again in the next video. See you later.